in his purposes throughout the year. I believe that Bible says that many are the plans that you and I will have, but it's the purpose of God that will prevail. So why, why behave that the Israelites who had only 11 days journey to enter into a promised land, but because of unbelief, it took them 40, 40, 40 years to come back to the same spot. So tonight, we want to receive strength in the Lord. And Bible says in Isaiah, our, our key scripture is taken from Habakkuk, chapter 3, verse 19. The Lord God is my strength. He will make my feet like deer's feet. And he will make me walk on my high hills. The Lord God is my strength. He will make my feet like deer's feet. And he will make me walk on my high hills. And I also want to read from Isaiah chapter 40, verse 30 to 31. The Bible says that even the youths shall faint and be weary. And the young men shall utterly fall. But those who wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. And that is strength in the Lord. Amen. And the Bible also says in Ephesians chapter 6 verse 10. It says, finally my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his mind. Beloved, we, are, we have strength in the Lord because we are in him. And tonight we want to start by thanking God. And I want us please be on our feet as we take time to thank God for what he did last week and, and what he's going to do today and even the days ahead. I don't want you us to make any mistake. Beloved, whether you know or not, we are in a war, spiritual war. And today the spirit of God is, is telling you and I that though the war is ranging almost every day at a very fast speed, we are triumphant in the Lord. Because the Bible says in 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 7, 15, verse 57, it says, thanks be to God who gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. And Romans 8 to 1 says, if God be for us, who can be against us? Romans 8 to 7 says, and in all these things, we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. Tonight, I want us to thank God that he gives you and I the victory, the victory that our Lord, he gives us you and I the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Lift up your voice and thank God. Thank God that he gives you the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Thank God. Thank God. Thank God for the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Thank God for the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Tonight, tonight, I want to thank God. Lift up your voice. Thank God that if, 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 if he's for you, who can be against you? No one, no situation can be against you because yes, the Lord be for you. Therefore, you are a victor. You are a triumphant. And if God is for you, who can be against you? Nobody can be against you. No satanic, no demonic entity can be against you. And thank God for tonight that in all these things, you and I are more than conquerors through him who loved us. Thank God that in all these things, you are more than a conqueror through him who loved you. Thank God, thank God that you are a conqueror. You are, you are, you are not the one who is defeated. You are a conqueror through him who loved you. And tonight, we want to continue to thank God that last week during the prophetic night, he poured on us his abundant grace, healing, divine revelation, and brought restoration to many of us. And you want to thank God. We want to thank God for that. Thank the Lord for last week during the prophetic night that he poured on us abundant grace, healing, divine revelation, and brought restoration to many. Lift up your voice and thank God. Give God some praise. Give God all the glory. Give God all the honor for all that he's done for us. Thanking him for last week that, yes, he poured on us his abundant grace. He poured on us healing, the healing virtue, the healing power and divine revelation and brought restoration to many of us. And we want to be grateful to God for all that he's done for you and I in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Thank you, Father, for tonight in Jesus' name. Amen. Beloved, tonight, if there's one thing that is needful to you and I, it's the word of God. We need a word from the Lord tonight. We need a word from the Lord tonight. And we want to pray. We want to pray and, and ask God that tonight, Lord, speak to me. Because his word is all that we need. 
to, 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 to carry on with our life throughout the rest of the year. So tonight, we want to ask your Heavenly Father to speak to you tonight. Ask your Heavenly Father, be specific and say, Lord, speak to me concerning this situation. I want to hear from you tonight. Ask God, to your Heavenly Father, to speak to you tonight. Tonight, the Lord will speak to you and I and be ready to hear from him and tell him tonight that you are in a high expectation tonight to receive his, his word. That will arm you to take by the territory that belongs to you, that's your family, your finances, your health, your ministry, your marriage, whatever you have. Tonight, you want to tell the Lord that you, are, you have you've come to him in high expectation to receive his word tonight. That will arm you to take by the territory that belongs to you, that territory concerning your family, that territory concerning your finances, that territory concerning your health, that territory concerning your ministry, concerning your marriage, concerning your business, whatever, whatever concerns your life tonight we want to tell the Lord that you've come to his presence expecting high expectation to receive from him tonight in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth and you want to pray that by the prophetic preaching and ministration tonight the Lord will give you a nice strength to live a disciplined Christian life that will lead to growth and maturity. Lift up your voice and pray that tonight by the prophetic preaching that will come, by the prophetic ministration of the word tonight, the Lord will give you a nice strength to live a disciplined Christian life that will lead to growth and maturity. In the mighty name of Jesus, lift up your voice and pray. Lift up your voice and pray. Ask God. Ask God. Pray to God tonight. That as the word of God come, that prophetic preaching come, that word of ministration come, the word of power come tonight, the Lord will give you strength to live a disciplined Christian life that will lead to a growth and maturity throughout the rest of the year and even beyond in the mighty name of Jesus. And tonight you want to ask the Holy Spirit, your divine, your divine, your divine coach, your divine partner, that after tonight's meeting, you will want to have a hunger for prayer and the study of God's word. Tonight, you want to live, ask the Holy Spirit. Ask him. He's your divine coach. He's your teacher. He's your counselor. Your standby. Your strengthener. That helper. Yes, ask him tonight. That after tonight's meeting, you will have a hunger for prayer and the study of God's word. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, lift up your voice and pray tonight. Ask the Holy Spirit. He is the one who is our helper. He is the one who can teach you the word of God. He is the one who is your divine coach. He can coach you for the rest of your life. Ask him that after tonight's meeting, you will have that hunger for prayer and the study of God's word. And you want to continue to pray that tonight, tonight, pray that with the supply, by the supply of his spirit tonight, your zeal for the Lord's way and his house will be steadfast throughout this year. There shall be no, no, no argument whatsoever that you will seek first his kingdom and his righteousness in the mighty name of Jesus. Pray that with the supply of his spirit. Yes, you will just pray of his spirit tonight. Your zeal for the Lord's way and his house will be set fast throughout this year 2023. Lift up your voice and pray. Lift up your voice and pray that by the, with the supply of his spirit to you tonight, oh, your zeal for, for the Lord's way, for the Lord's way and his house will be set fast throughout the, this year in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, yes, Lord, yes, Lord. Let the zeal of your house consume us, Lord, and grant us by the supply of your spirit that anointing, that, that strength, that Lord, oh, Oh God, your work in, the, in your house. Oh yes, Lord, that, that zeal will be set fast unto us throughout the rest of the year. And beloved, you want to continue to ask God to help you uphold truth and integrity in your personal and professional life. You want, to, you want to be a man and a woman of integrity. You want to walk in uprightness of heart before God all the days of your life. So, so therefore there can be nothing that can be said against you in the mighty name of Jesus. Ask God to help you uphold truth and integrity in your personal and professional life. Tonight, tonight let the cup anointing in this house help you uphold truth and integrity in your personal and professional life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Lift up your voice when anyone comes to your establishment, when anyone is seeking somebody to do business with you, your name will come out first because your, your, your integrity is not, will not be questioned, neither your, 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 your uprightness of heart in the mighty name 
of Jesus. We give you praise, we give you glory. Now tonight, oh my God, as, as, as your word come, oh God, led by the anointing, help us uphold truth and integrity in our personal life and our professional life in the mighty name of Jesus. Beloved, put your hands together for Jesus. Put your hands together for Jesus. Put your hands together for Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to pray for the servant of God. I want to pray for Reverend Pierre Kofi that you speak as the oracles of God tonight and God will work with him and confirm the word with signs following. God will confirm every word that will come out of his mouth and, and work with that word and confirm the word with signs and miracles following. Lift up your voice and let's pray for Reverend Ampia Kofi, Reverend, Reverend Dr. Ampia Kofi, that you will speak as the oracles of God tonight and God will work with him. Father, in Jesus' name, we commit your vessel that will set apart tonight to speak unto us. Let him speak as the oracles of God. Let him declare your mind unto your people. And we pray that Lord, oh God, confirm your word. Confirm your word. Confirm work with him. And confirm your word with healings, with miracles, with signs following in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. We give you praise. We give you glory that you will come and enter into this room in the fullness of your blessing. In Jesus' name. Amen. Beloved, the Bible says in Romans 8.26, it says, Now he who searches the hearts, knoweth what is the mind or the spirit, because he makes intercession for the saints according to the will of God. I love this scripture because anytime I pray this scripture, then it means I'm going to pray in the spirit a lot concerning a loved one and concerning a situation which the Holy Spirit can help me to pray better than I can do with my peanut brain. So tonight, we want to ask the Spirit of God to give you divine counsel that will bring advancement and progress in all you do. Lift up your voice and ask the Holy Spirit. Ask him, ask him, be specific and ask him. Holy Spirit, I ask you, give me divine counsel that will bring advancement and progress in all that I do. In this year, 2023, I desire to do A, B, C, D. I desire to, to further my education. I desire to marry. I desire to, to expand my business. I desire to, 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 to invest in, in this and have multiple streams of income. And I ask you to give me divine counsel that will bring advancement and progress unto me in the mighty name of Jesus. For the word of God says that trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding and in all your ways acknowledge him and he shall direct your paths. There is a way that seems right unto man, but the end thereof is there. Therefore, Holy Spirit, tonight we ask you, give us divine counsel that you will bring advancement and progress in all that we do. And we want to pray for the comfort and encouragement of the Holy Spirit to remain strong in faith in the face of difficulties and challenges. Pray for the comfort and encouragement of the Holy Spirit to remain strong in faith in the face of difficulties and challenges. 2023 is not going to be an easy year, but thank God we are more than conquerors. Thank God we are, God will cause us to triumph in Christ in all circumstances. Pray for the comfort and encouragement of the Holy Spirit to remain strong in faith in the face of difficult and challenging situations in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And tonight you want to affirm that you wait on the Lord. Your strength will not wane as you run the race he has set before you. Because he says that those who wait upon the Lord, they shall mount up wings like the eagles and they shall run, they, they, they shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and they shall not faint. Therefore we are firm tonight as Lord we wait on you that our strength will not win as we run the race that you said you set before us in the mighty name of Jesus pray to the Lord to bring people your way that will challenge you to grow spiritually mentally emotionally spirit soul and body in the mighty name of Jesus pray to the Lord tonight to bring people in your way in this year 2023 that will challenge you to grow spiritually mentally and emotionally in the mighty name of Jesus, lift up your voice and pray. Lift up your voice and pray. We need our destiny helpers to come our way. Lord, by your spirit, by your spirit, orchestrate things that Lord will, will, will come across and will beat our destiny helpers. People.
people who Lord will challenge us to grow spiritually, mentally, and emotionally in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, they will, they will, they will help us even to seek your face more than even before. They will help us read the word of God and understand the things of the supernatural than ever before in the mighty name of Jesus. That we shall grow spiritually, that we shall grow mentally, that we shall grow emotionally in the mighty name of Jesus. That it shall be said that spirit, soul, and body, we, we, are, we are holy. We are, we are whole in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We give you praise. We give you glory in Jesus' name. Beloved, put your hands together for the Lord one more time. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. If there's any time in, in, in Ghana that we need protection, it's this is amen. But thank God that fresh start, fresh start with fresh anointing will guarantee you and your family and all your household that protection that you need. The Bible says in Isaiah 54 verse 15, say, Behold, they shall surely gather, but not by me. Whosoever shall gather together against you shall fall for your sake. Those of us who were here in this house last Tuesday, God revealed something to the prophet concerning the, I believe that is Ghana. But you know, the prophet is, is, is man of wisdom. And, and, and we have prayed. But I want us to go further because the prophet exhorted that every family, every home should be praying towards that because it's, it's quite serious. But then we know that the hand of the Lord, because he has revealed, he will redeem us. Amen. But then we cannot go to sleep. We cannot go to sleep. So tonight we want to pray against any satanic demonic gathering in any part of Ghana that the enemy is planning to do to still kill and destroy the peace, progress and development of this nation. Lift up your voice and let's begin to pray. In the mighty name of Jesus, we have the authority of the name of Jesus, we have the name of Jesus, we have the word of God, we have, we have the blood of Jesus. Be beloved, tonight, exercise your authority against any satanic, demonic gathering in any part of this nation that the enemy is gathering, is planning to use to steal, to kill, and to destroy the peace, the progress, the development of this nation. Tonight, we resist that gathering. We prevent and stop that gathering. We declare that they shall not gather. It's not of God, and therefore, we scatter them. Let God arise. Let his enemies be scattered in the mighty name of Jesus this nation will never see any coup d'etat, this nation will never see any chaotic, any anarchous situation in Jesus name for we decree here tonight by the finger and by the power of the Holy Ghost that yes, yes, yes the glory of the Lord will fill this nation, the angel of the Lord will come around about Ghana we plead the blood upon our land borders, the water borders the air borders and we secure them from any satanic entry into this nation and even inside those who are plotting we scatter them and we decree and declare they shall not gather though yes they surely they surely want to gather but we say that gathering is not of god and therefore they shall be scattered in the name of jesus christ of nazareth we decree and declare that ghana will not see the path of bloodshed but we see the path of peace the path of unity, the path of togetherness as one people in one country in Jesus' name. We want to ask the Lord to take over the hearts of decision makers of this country so that they make right decisions and make right choices that will help us as a nation. Pray for our leaders. Pray for our leaders. They cannot sit in their offices and think that we are joking here as a nation. No, we, we, are, we, are, we are praying for serious business with serious people in this nation. Lord, take over their hearts and, this, this, and make them take right decisions and make right choices for this nation. In the name of Jesus, command every evil power at work to bring confusion, misunderstanding, and weakness in your life to depart in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father. We give you praise. We give you glory tonight. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, thank you in Jesus' name. If you believe that God answers that, then put your hands together and give a shout of victory. Woo! Bless you. Our strength. Thy grace I rule Thy word
Yes, he reigns forever. He reigns in our lives. Hallelujah. Say. together for the Lord tonight and welcome somebody to the second prophetic prayer service. Just welcome somebody to the presence of God tonight. Just welcome somebody to his presence tonight. Tonight is also another night. And without wasting time, put your hands together and receive the prophet. Hallelujah. It's good. May you be seated. Today is day 12 or day 12. 12 is a governmental number. Something good is going to happen. When they, after crossing the Jordan, 
Joshua said, take 12 stones. Day 12. And every month, I believe that we are going to have a testimony. Yeah. Each stone represents a memorial for every month. That years to come, anytime you turn, you will remember that January 2023, this is my testimony. Yeah. February 2023, this is my testimony. Yeah. Till December. Hallelujah. So, day 12 is a powerful day. Um, we have no less a person being honored to have this great man of God. I do need to introduce him. This is a man who is passionate about souls, passionate about sinners, passionate about the church and about the body of Christ. I call him an apostle and I'm fortunate to have him as a friend and a brother. Reverend Ampia Kofi is the general overseer of the Global Revival Ministry and the president of Ampia Kofi well Outreach. He is a preacher without borders. He's one of the few preachers that move from A to Z. He doesn't care. And I marvel at this age. Wherever I go, they say the man is having a crusade. I say, what kind of strength and energy? that this man have. But when you are passionate about something, it cannot limit you. And any time I hear about him, fortunately, he went to my, my hometown, my village which I have not had a crusade there before. He had a crusade there. So thank you very much. And I was so excited to see his picture by the, our school. Thank you very much, my brother and friend. And he has, he's a seasoned pastor, a teacher, international healing evangelist, conference speaker and best-selling author. Reverend Ampia Kofi has brought joy, insight, and liberation to millions who have encountered his ministry. I don't know in this region, district, who this man has not gone to preach the gospel to. Reverend Piakofi, the entire world say, I should salute you. Some of us are bound to cities, but this man, he moved from city, town, village, hamlet. He moved to every area and we all salute you for that so we are fortunate to have this man that have visited all of us our regions togo nigeria east africa in a place so the anointing he carries is going to start you afresh we have a fresh start and you are not going to live here as a weakling. You are going to live here with new strength and new zeal. And I believe that by the end of this year, you will see the works that God will use you to do. Reverend Pierre Kofi 
is uh, is married to one wife. Mrs. Adwa Abrafi, who is our good friend, my very good friend, and my wife very good friend too. But when we sit, we don't talk. That's good friends. <laughs> Praise God. She is quiet by nature, and I'm quiet by nature when we meet. So my wife helps us to moderate as a speaker. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Church with a standing ovation and a clap offering, let us receive Reverend Dr. Ampia Kofi. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Sing it one more time. <laughs> Say he can move the mouth. Our God is mighty to say. He is mighty to say. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please be seated. Jesus indeed rose and conquered the grave. And indeed he is mighty to save. Hallelujah. 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 2023 hallelujah <laughs> glory be to God the Lord has enabled us to see a unique year a year that is going to yield great results hallelujah for certain kind of people hallelujah and I know that is why we have to be in the fresh start fast of 21 days because you need some toughening. We all need some toughening for this year. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to thank God so much for the life of Prophet Christopher Yao Ano and Reverend Mrs. Wisha Ano. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This is, this is one place that when I have to come here, sometime my wife asked me, said, I got a call. Uh, are you available? I, I don't ever think about it. I don't pray about it. I don't, I just say, but don't worry about the day. Just say yes. Because <laughs> that's the relationship we have. Hallelujah. If somebody's date was there, I would remove the person's date. <laughs> Glory be to God. 
because that's the fellowship, the relationship. It's a joyful relationship, a happy relationship. Hallelujah. And I'm so blessed to be connected to God's servant and his dear wife. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Amen. You are blessed, blessed, blessed because you sit under this ministry all the time. Hallelujah. Amen. We had the ministry for two days in December and it was something else. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You don't know how blessed you are. You are super, super blessed. Hallelujah. 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 It is well with your soul. It is well with your soul. It is well with your soul. God is giving you strength for 2023. God will give you the grace for 2023. Whatever the challenges may be in the year, those challenges, God will give you strength in the beginning of the year to meet all the challenges in the middle of the year. Are you still here today? Hallelujah. Whatever the year holds, God will strengthen you in such a way that every obstacle will become your stepping stone. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I remember there was this James Bond film, you know, James Bond. And the people always put him in an impossible situation and he always escaped by some mysterious method. And there was a time in one of the films, I don't remember, but he was in a pool of water and there were crocodiles all around him. <laughs> you remember that one? <laughs> and somehow the man <laughs> managed to jump on top of the crocodiles. He used the crocodiles as his stepping stone, stepped on their back, one, two, three, four, and dived out, <laughs> went out of the water. And what was supposed to kill him became his exit point. Uh, hallelujah. <laughs> May every obstacle in your way of 2023, by virtue of the fastings and prayer, may every obstacle become your stepping stone. Hallelujah. You will grow from strength to strength. What was supposed to bring you down will rather take you up. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What was supposed to be a barrier will become a projection. <laughs> Hallelujah. So I keep seeing you going higher and higher. You keep climbing higher and higher. Every year, even though we do 31st night and say goodbye to the former year, there are some things there that just uh, follow into the next year, they don't just stop. Hallelujah. The same Russia Ukraine war is still ongoing. <laughs> From 22, it has entered 23. Hallelujah. Uh, COVID 19 has come down, but it didn't disappear. Hallelujah. Fortunately, this part of the world. Uh, the prayers fight it. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But you're going to find that you there's a carryover and then the year itself has its own challenges. Hallelujah. That's why in the beginning of the year, you must have a fresh start a special strength to go through and go over. Hallelujah. And I know that this year you shall go over and go through every obstacle 
and see the victories of the Almighty God in an exceptional way. Hallelujah. There's so much blessing on your life this year. There's so much power on your life this year. Hallelujah. See, the Almighty God has never tried to remove troubles per se from the way of his people. He has, that has never been his plan. His plan always has been that he would take his people over the challenges. He will make a way of escape. He will permit certain things to appear, but you, he will empower you to overcome it so that he is more interested in your testimony than in your comfort or complete lack of any trouble. Hallelujah. Are, are you getting me? Are you getting me? God, God will allow you to go through something to prove to you that he is able, hallelujah, to give you the victory, hallelujah. So there's no angel assigned to try to clear your way in front of you, but there are angels assigned to take you through situations. Hallelujah. God did not remove the challenge of Nebuchadnezzar and his seven times hotter oven. He, he didn't take it away. Though he could have taken it away, but he allowed it so that they will enter into the fire and they will come out with a testimony knowing that you can go into this fire seven times hotter and yet come out without even the smell of smoke upon you. <laughs> Hallelujah. That's how our God is. Hallelujah. That's how he likes to do his things. Glory be to God. That's why when they set a trap for Daniel to put him into the lion's den, God didn't give him any strategy to avoid the den, the lions. There was no strategy of avoidance. The strategy was going through to encounter the lions. It's interesting, isn't it? It's easy to read other people's stories because the matter has ended. And after it ends, you know the result. So it always looks nice. But it's not as nice as it looks. Uh, I used to support some football teams. And I have a team in Ghana, but I have stopped supporting them. <laughs> Glory be to God. <laughs> and there was a time when they are playing, I can't watch, I don't watch. I turn my eyes away. I wait till the match is over. If they won, then I start watching. <laughs> I watched the replay there. <laughs> Hallelujah. But the, the, the tension of the person getting the ball and hitting the ball and maybe the thing went over the bar and oh, ah, oh, ah. I said, Lord, have mercy. <laughs> At my age, I can't handle this one. <laughs> let, let me leave it to my son. <laughs> Let, let him support that way, but as for me, I will just wait for the result. So my son told me that you are not a good supporter. I said, <laughs> you, <laughs> when you get to a certain stage, you cannot really be such a good supporter. But you find that it is easy to read that 
Daniel went into the lion's den and came out. She is easy to read. <laughs> but the reality is, it is tough to go through. Even when you know that God will deliver you. Even when God himself knows he will deliver you. He himself, it can trouble him whilst you are going through. Even though he knows he will deliver you. You remember when Jesus wept? John eleven thirty five. Jesus wept. And you wonder why did he weep? Because if it was me and I know I'm going to raise the dead, I'm going to be trotting. I trot a little, then I shake my leg. <laughs> then I try to tell everybody, just come and see. But the man is crying. What is he crying about? But the people are going through something. And even though he's going to deliver them out of it, and the whole thing is going to turn into a testimony, he can still empathize and sympathize with what they are going through. So every experience we have is precious to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. For we do not have a high priest. Hallelujah. Who cannot sympathize with our infirmities. Hallelujah. But he was in all points tempted as we are. He feels whatever we feel. He goes through whatever we go through. That's him. Hallelujah. He will do the delivering, but he is with you through the trouble. Hallelujah. Said, I'll be with you in trouble. So this year, no matter what this year holds, God is going to strengthen us and he's going to be with us throughout the year. Day by day, hour by hour, he will be with you. You will chalk this year greater victories than any other year before. Uh, hallelujah. Uh, that's why the good start is so important because this is the year of greater victory than ever, ever before. I see many people here today that are going to achieve extraordinary things. By the end of this year, your dreams would have formed and become reality. Your desires would have become reality. What looked impossible will become possible. What looked to be a challenge will become a testimony of what God can do in your life. So many victories are here already. So much of the anointing is already here upon your life. You are strengthened against what lies ahead of you. Hallelujah to Jesus. Blessed be God. Blessed be God. Hallelujah. Peter went through some trouble, uh, which everybody knows because his trouble was a very public trouble. Because he denied Christ to some people, and it was a public denial. Uh, there were many witnesses to say he is the one who said he doesn't know Jesus. There were witnesses who said you were his follower. Those same people knew that he said, I am not his follower. So there were people with his record to play his record. You can imagine the Adum FM, Joy FM of the day. Hallelujah. That Apostle Peter, that followed Christ closely, was swearing that he doesn't know him. It will be a subject of discussion in the morning, Kukruku. 
<laughs> Hallelujah. So did he really say he doesn't know him? Uh, he said it. No, he said, but we, we know him or he is the man that is always beside the master. But he went to say he doesn't know him and it became a public humiliation. And the master looked at Peter. By the time Peter saw that he has disgraced himself, it was too late and he began to weep and tears were coming down his face. And he went back. But the interesting thing is that there's always a fresh start, a new beginning. Hallelujah. Be that is the reason for much prayer, advanced prayer, because Jesus had told Peter already that you are going to face some challenge and at that time, Peter didn't really think that there's any challenge possible. And he believed that he's so tough that no challenge can really challenge him. Hallelujah. Luke 22, 31, he, 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 he was confident that the challenge can never be anything. Hallelujah. But the, and the Lord said... Simon, Simon, behold, Satan had desired to have you that he may sift you as wheat. That is demonic desire. Oh, are, are you still here? <laughs> Satanic desire. Satan had desired to have you. The devil doesn't want anything good, so his desires are all negative. Hallelujah. So he said, Satan had desired to have you, to sift you as wheat. But, but, I have prayed for you in advance. Hallelujah. I have prayed for you that your faith fail not. May our prayers in this season go ahead of us. Hallelujah. He, he, it's a prayer that stops failure. He said, I have prayed for you that your faith fail not. There are certain prayers that when we pray, they are investments into the future that prevent failure. And it can work in every area of your life, every area, spiritual, financial, academic, marital, everything. The prayers you invest there become a barrier into the future to prevent failure. Jesus said, I have prayed for you that your faith fail not. To understand the importance of it, you have to look at another man who disappointed Christ and sold him out, Judas, the only difference between Judas and Peter was that at the end of the day, advanced prayer saved Peter's faith, but Judas' faith collapsed and he saw no more reason to live on this earth and he went and committed suicide because his faith collapsed. But because Christ prayed for Peter, his faith did not collapse. His faith did not fail. I see in this year that your faith will stand strong and rise higher than ever before. 
your faith in every area of endeavor, every area of endeavor, your faith will stand strong. Hallelujah. It, it was a serious case and embarrassment for Peter, but as he left the building crying, one thing was still standing in his life, which was his faith. He was weeping. He was disappointed in himself, but he never went and committed suicide. But he went and kept on believing that what Jesus spoke to him in the beginning will still come to pass. That the master that met him on the boat when he had told all night and caught nothing, who helped him catch the fish and told him, follow me and I'll make you fishers of men. That same master's words will never fail in his life. He believed he would still be a fisher of men. That the master's purpose for him will never falter and will never fail. I see by the grace of God that the master's purpose over your life will never fail. You will, what he has told you will continue to live strong in your life. Every word of God and amazingly we get so much word from God directly as we are reading our Bible you may just think you are just reading but God is speaking to your heart as you are praying God is speaking to your heart there are so many divine messages in your life none of them will ever fail your faith will never fail every promise of God will stand the test of time every word of God will stand the test of time forever O oh Lord thy word is settled in heaven what God told you will prevail over every circumstance will conquer every opposition oh hallelujah negative circumstances cannot overcome the word of God situations cannot overcome the word of God the word of God dwells in a realm by itself uh, it is Lord it is a word that has the power of God it is a word that upholds all things is the word of the Almighty is working in your life it will never fail it cannot fail it will stand and your prayers uh, are guaranteeing that there will be no failure Jesus said Peter I have prayed for you for just one thing that your faith fail not sometimes you begin to wonder I mean if you were the Lord and you know Peter is going to betray you and you know you can pray some prayer you pray that Lord don't let him betray me Am I right? That, that looked like a nice prayer. I don't want to be betrayed. So I'm going to pray that Lord, hold him. Don't let him betray me. But he prayed for him that after betrayal, his faith will not fail. That is the master for you. He loves everyone through it all. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And he has prayed for him that his faith should not fail. And his faith did not fail. Sometimes when your faith does not fail, you have to just be bold and do what you got to do. <laughs> On the day of Pentecost, even before the day of Pentecost, Jesus, when he rose up, said, tell my disciples and Peter. He mentioned my disciples and Peter. Hallelujah. Because he knew that Peter would feel like he's disqualified. 
Peter will feel like maybe the master doesn't remember me anymore, but he's so specific that nobody can forget or overlook the fact that he's still for Peter. Tell my disciples and Peter that I go to Gal they will meet me, hallelujah, in the meeting place. Tell them all to come, especially Ad and Peter, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. But go your way. Tell his disciples and Peter that he goeth before you into Galilee. There shall ye see him as he said unto you. So he's making sure that Peter will recover. God is working on you by the power of prayer and by the power of the spoken word. He's affirming Peter again. So when the messenger comes and says, the master said, go to Galilee, he will meet you there. Peter will be scratching his head. Uh, who did he say you should tell? Uh, was I part of it? <laughs> and he said, he mentioned your name specifically. All the disciples and Peter. So that is the beginning of his recovery. Then Jesus gives him another fresh start because he is, it's all a fresh start. Hallelujah. Is giving him the power to rise up again. And at the time with all the disciples present, he asks him, Simon Peter, do you love me? He said, I love you. Hallelujah. I love you, Lord. <laughs> and I lift my voice to give you worship. Hallelujah. He said, Simon Peter, Peter, lovest thou me? And he said, yes, Lord, Simon, son of Jonas. Hallelujah. Lovest thou me more than these? And he has to think about it because these, the other ones, have not denied Hallelujah. He has denied. <laughs> and yet he's being asked, not do you love me, but do you love me more than these? So he's being asked, do you love me more than these ones who have never made any mistake before? They have not denied me, but do you love me more than them? And he said, Lord, I love you. You know it. Hallelujah. And yea, Lord, thou knowest that I love thee. Then he gave him an instruction. He said unto him, feed my lambs. Hallelujah. Then he asked him a second time. He asked him a third time. And he keeps calling him Simon, son of Jonas. But he has changed his name and given him a new surname. But now, depending on the answer, he will get to his proper anointed name. Hallelujah. Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me? And Peter was grieved because he said unto him the third time, lovest thou me? And he says unto him, Lord, thou knowest all things. Thou knowest that I love thee. Jesus said unto him, feed my sheep. Those who have studied the Greek, they said, all those feed my, all the words are different. Hallelujah. The sheep, the lambs, and everything. I didn't study the Greek, so I don't go there. Hallelujah. Praise God. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise God. But he, he lifts him up because we are in a fresh start. May you be lifted up. Hallelujah. Everything Jesus is doing is to lift up Peter, lift up his confidence, and give him a fresh start. 
asking him these questions is re-establishing the relationship and reappointing him to the leadership by asking him, do you love me more than these? And whenever he said yes, he was affirming it. Somebody said he denied him thrice and he gave him three chances to affirm his love for him. So every affirmation canceled the one denial. Hallelujah. One to one. Hallelujah. And let him cancel all the wrong confession with good confession. I love you, Lord. I love you, Lord. I love you, Lord. Three times. Cancel. I don't know him. I don't know him. I don't know him. Hallelujah. So the master is lifting Peter and giving him a fresh start. But when God is giving you a fresh start, there are times you have to seize the opportunity. And in 2023, you are going to seize the opportunity. You are not going to produce some kind of humility that doesn't make you take advantage of what God gives to you. Sometimes we end up thinking we are being humble, but we are rejecting what God has spread before us. But reject that concept of humility. When God blesses you, be blessed. When God strengthens you, be strong. When God raises you, be raised. When God exalts your horn, let your horn be exalted. When God is making you a king, don't be like Saul and go and hide in the stuff at the background behind the suitcases. Come out and let the crown be put on your head. When God is blessing you, don't retire from the blessing. Don't run away from the blessing. Some that are here today, God will make you a major financier and a voice in your family, a voice in the house of the living God, a major financier in the house of God. He will do it in your life and you will not retire or go away from your blessing, but you will go for your blessing in the name of Jesus. Whatever the case, you will be strong to get a fresh start because the opportunity has opened. When Abraham seven went to the house of Rebekah, he said, I'm in a hurry to go and take you back to my master and introduce you to my master's son. And the people in the house said, let her stay with us for a short while. Let her stay with us for some time. Give us about another 10 days to spend with her, and then you can take her away. The servant said, I'm in a hurry. Then they said, okay, we'll ask her whether she will go or she will wait for 10 days. They called Rebecca and said, will you go with this man? He said, I will go. May you be ready to go when God make a way. Just move, take a step into it because you are ready to take a step into your breakthrough. I didn't hear you at all. There, there are some people that right now you are taking a step into your breakthrough. Are you ready to go? She said, I will go. I will go. She said, do you want to stay with us for 10 more days? She said, I've been living been with you since I was born. I am now 25. I've been with you for 25 years. I'm ready to go now. Is somebody ready to move forward now? No more fear, no more intimidation. I see some people, the business God is leading you into in 2023. May you be ready to step into it now. You are ready to go into it now. You are not afraid. You are not intimidated. If God opens the door, you are putting your leg through the door. Can somebody say yes? Sir?
May the door open for your life. May the door be open for your life. When God makes a way and begins to give you a fresh start, be ready to follow the Spirit of God. Hallelujah. I see fresh start everywhere. Jacob, Jacob was with Laban, serving him as a servant and Laban cheating him for 14 years. But God suddenly gave him an opportunity for a fresh start. After 14 years, Joseph was born to his beloved wife, Rachel. And when Joseph was born, his eyes opened and the opportunity of a fresh start came to him. He said, I'm going. He wasn't really going, but he said, I'm going because he wanted to rework the contract. Because the first contract was not a good contract for him, but he signed it because he had fallen in love. It's not very good to sign a contract when you are in love. <laughs> Hallelujah. When he, he was so in love with Rachel that he said, I will work for you seven years for Rachel. When the man tricked him and said, you have to work seven more years. He said, it doesn't matter. Don't worry about the number. Whatever it is, I will do it. So by the time his eyes open, he's working 14 years in a wrong contract. But when Joseph was born, he said, sir, I'm going. I'm going out of the old contract and I'm leaving. And the man said, no, don't go. I have learned by experience uh, that God has blessed you since, he blessed me since you came. And that annoyed Jacob even more because the man Laban knows that God has blessed him, Laban, a wicked man, a trickster, a liar, a con man. God has been blessing the liar and the liar and the con man knows that the blessing is because of Jacob. May your own blessing also begin to manifest something in your... <laughs> uh, I didn't hear you at all. I see, I, I see your fresh start. You are getting into a fresh start. He said... What can I give you so you will stay? And he said, thou shalt give me nothing. Because he had learned two things. In whatever challenging situation you are, pick on the lessons you can pick in that situation. So it is going to help you in your fresh start. He had learned that because of him, God is blessing Laban. And he knows that God doesn't want to bless Laban. God is forced to bless Laban because of his contract. Are you here today? <laughs> so he has learned that God is blessing him. And God is so determined to bless him that even if the result will go to another person, God will still prove to him that the blessing is on him. So he said, I learned that your sheep were few when I came, but now they have become a multitude. God's blessing on my life is working for you. Hallelujah. So that's one lesson that he has learned. Then the, and then he has learned another lesson that handling sheep and animals is his natural gift and it is the doorway to his blessing. So he said, I don't need any wages from you. Just give me some of the sheep that's color is very rare because he knows Laban is so greedy that if he mentioned a common color, that's the end of the negotiation. But if he mentioned that he won blue sheep, and blue sheep is one in a thousand, then Laban will quickly agree and say, this is my nephew. He's still not having any sense. Glory be to God. He's just as a Johnny just come as when he arrived here the first time. 
So let's agree with him. So the colors that Jacob told Laban he wanted are so rare that Laban knows that this boy nephew will never prosper. So let's agree with him. So he signed a new contract. May you this year, every area of your life, produce new things. Ola Messiah, Hando Shaya. So some of the things you yourself will be empowered to make them new in 2023. You are going to change some things. Your, your attitude about certain things is going to change. Uh, you are going to have a new attitude about things. Uh, things you took for granted, you will take them for granted no more. You will rise up to challenge the status quo and you will make a demand and say now, let it change. Uh, suddenly now Jacob is on the war path. Uh, he is determined to change the contract he signed the wrong contract but he's determined to change it you yourself in this fresh new year of 2023 you will make your fresh start in many areas of your life I see your businesses changing I see your spiritual life changing I see your prayer life changing I see your word life changing I see you getting determined uh, that it shall not be the way it used to be it could be 14 years but now uh, it doesn't matter that the thing was wrong for 14 years now in the fresh start we are changing it now he said Laban uh, this thing got to change uh, it has to change uh, don't give me any wages uh, just give me some sheep uh, and the color may give me just a few to start with uh, but I have learned by experience uh, when I came to you your sheep was few and it has increased to a multitude so if I start with a few uh, the same anointing uh, that made the few become plenty uh, that same anointing uh, that worked for you uh, will continue to work for me I see some people here now God is giving you a new contract God is giving you a new idea God is giving you a new challenge the way you are going now doors are opening now Doors are opening now. Favor is coming your way. The contract is changing. The door is opening. There is coming a way where there used to be no way. There is coming a door where there used to be no door. Favor is coming now. Hallelujah. Let the door open now. Let the favor come now let the doors be opened I see grace here I see glory here I see an encounter here I see a visitation here something is working now the door is opening for you the door is opening for you I see something happening now let the blessing of the Almighty let the favor of the Almighty let the door open now. Hey, let it open now. Somebody say yes. A fresh start. 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 Es Esther got married in fear. Mordecai told her, Don't tell anybody you are a Jew. 
because Jews are hated so don't let even your husband know that you are a Jew she's living with fear that nobody should know she's a Jew or they will sabotage her future but it came to a point Mordecai said it's time I told you not to let anybody know you are a Jew but now I am giving you another direction for a fresh start let everybody know uh, that you are a Jew uh, you are one of God's people uh, and let everybody know uh, that though they didn't know who you are they didn't know your background uh, but God blessed you uh, and I declare to somebody uh, uh, no matter your background uh, no matter your family background uh, it's too late for the devil now uh, you are already blessed uh, you are already blessed uh, you are already saved uh, you are already born again uh, you already are filled with the Holy Ghost uh, it's a new day it's a new hour somebody is receiving a, a supernatural encounter with the grace of God I feel something here now you are receiving goodness you are receiving mercy there is an oil dripping on your head there is an anointing that God has placed over your life they did not know that you are a Jew but you are already the queen nobody can destroy you what God has opened no man can spoil it what God has done nobody can destroy it I see a new gate I see a new door I see a new you favor somebody receive uh, fresh starts are being ministered everywhere God is giving you a fresh start is giving you a new strength uh, Esther said I'm ready Mordecai uh, I'm ready for the fresh start uh, but I can't go it in my own might uh, I can't go it in my own power I'm willing to go but before I go uh, I'm going to fast for three days uh, tell everyone uh, let them gather together uh, and let them fast with me fast ye for me and neither eat nor drink three days night or day I also and my maidens will fast likewise and so will I go in unto the king which is not according to the law if I perish I perish but I will go I had a is somebody here the door is open receive the power uh, I will go I will go over fast ye three days I and my buildings also will fast this is not a time to befriend the prayerful man and tell him get three things of Milo and fast for me. This is Queen Esther saying, I and my maidens also will fast. Are you here today? Your own voice is powerful to the throne of grace. Are you here today? When you pray, God hears you. Say yes. Say yes. It's a fresh start. It's a fresh start. It's a new beginning. Something fresh is coming up. Ah. It's working.
working. It's working. It's a fresh start. It's a fresh start. It's a fresh start. It, 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 no matter how it looks, uh, Esther said, uh, it may look like I will perish. It may look like I'll lose my favor when I go and tell the king I'm a Jew. But any possible danger, the fasting and prayer will go ahead of me. Uh, are you still here today? Uh, Peter, I've prayed for you that your faith fail not. You shall not fail. You shall not fail. Your business shall not fail. Your marriage will not fail. Your relationship will not fail. Your faith will not fail. You will not fail. You will not fail. Your health will not fail. You will not fail. Shout it Will not fail, will not fail, will not fail. Fresh start, fresh start. Uh, let me say this and we pray. When Peter denied Christ, Christ was crucified in the next 24 hours. In three days, he came from the dead. For 40 days, he stayed among them after he rose from the dead. That's 43 days. After his ascension, they waited in Jerusalem for 10 days. And the day of Pentecost came fully after 10 days. 3 plus 40 plus 10 is 53. In 53 days, the Holy Ghost fell. When the Holy Ghost fell, there were some people downstairs. All the people downstairs, everybody was confused. Some said, what mean at this? Those were the humble and the good people. They said, what does it mean? We want to know. The, another group, they were not humble or meek about it. They said, these people, they are drunkards. So all the people downstairs have problem with what's going on upstairs. But it took somebody. Somebody had to rise up and answer their question. And James is standing there. John is standing there. Bartholomew, Nathaniel, Andrew, all the apostles are standing there. Peter look around and say, everybody is standing around saying nothing. Uh, I may have denied Christ, but now is my chance uh, for a fresh start, a new beginning. I see somebody here. Uh, the Lord is saying, declare to him uh, that no matter what happened yesterday, today is a new day for a fresh start receive the and Peter standing up with the twelve he stood up stood up stood up he said are you sure you have the confidence to speak he said yes sir until the one that denied him some few weeks ago he said yes sir but that's over now a new day has come. It's a fresh start. It's a fresh start. Is somebody ready for a fresh start? Yeah! yeah. My Yada Holy Ghost Temple. Are we ready for a fresh start? Yes! In a few after six years, Jacob was so much wealthier than Laban that they were now sacking him because he's too rich. 
Fresh start. Fresh start. Fresh start. They said, aren't you the one who signed the bad contract to work 14 years for Rachel? He said, I did it, but it's a fresh start. It's a fresh start. I can see a fresh start. <laughs> Are you ready for a fresh start? <laughs> yeah! Peter, are you the one that denied him some few days ago? Uh, yes, I was the one, but it's a fresh start. It's a fresh start. Esther, are you the one who hid the fact that you are a Jew? Yes, I am the one. But now, it's a fresh start. It's a fresh start. It's a fresh start. I see some people are very ready for a fresh start. Ah, don't worry about yesterday. Don't worry about the thing that took place before. Now, it's a fresh start. It's a new beginning now. Something fresh is happening for you. Look at the glory that came in here. And look at the bucket of oil. Thank you, Lord, for the fresh start. Fresh start. Fresh start. Fresh start. Please rise to your feet. It's a fresh start. Just say fresh start three times. Fresh start, fresh start, fresh start. 2023. I see freshness. Ooh, ooh. Kabasaya. Andabahaya. Yes, 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 yes. The word of God is moving in your life with the spirit of God. Your prayers have gone ahead of you. They have cleared the way now. Ah, it's a fresh start. 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 Let's take two minutes to pray. We are praying that everything around us will just answer to a fresh start. A fresh start. Everything, 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 everything. Everything. Mayosi, Rahanda, Sahaya. Open your mouth. Pray. Ask God. Ask God. Oh, La Basaya. It's a fresh start. There is something like an oil, like an ointment. As you are praying, that ointment and that oil will be over your head and over your life. It's a fresh start as you declare it in prayer. Yes, Lord. Lord, it's a fresh start. It's a fresh, fresh start. It's a fresh start. My Basanda. Ah, a fresh start. And Bahaya, Kabatara Bahaya. They are couples here. It's a fresh start. It's a fresh start. It's a fresh start. Lift your voice much in prayer. Lift your voice up much in prayer. It's a fresh start. 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 I see you boldly stepping into your fresh start. Uh -huh. Come on. I see that oil. Uh, the husband and wife are receiving the anointing. Uh, the husband and the wife, uh, they are receiving the anointing and the oil. Ah, it's a fresh start. It's a fresh start. It's a fresh start. It's a fresh start. Look, look, look. See now. God 
Almighty is giving you a fresh start. He's making a way now where there was no way. There are couples here. The Lord is declaring fresh start for you. And Bahaya. Before tonight will end, the relationship will be stirred up afresh. I see an anointing. I see the children. I see the babies. I see, I see. Hey, 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 hey. Father, I see something happening here. Oh Lord, thank you Jesus. In about three seconds, grace will touch this couple here. I saw the oil from the mighty God and from the heavenly realm. It was like an ointment and a bucket of ointment poured out <laughs> and he said that I will do a new thing for them <laughs> under Bahaya under Bahaya sa 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 oh Lord <laughs> he said I will do a new thing in their lives I will work a new work. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Thank you, Lord. I just saw it now. One, two, three, four, five, six. On the sixth row, there is an anointing. Oh, oh Rabbi uh -huh. Thank you, Father. I saw some glory here. Lift your hands if you want the glory. Just lift it if you want the glory. Thank you, Lord, for what I see. Ah, for who you are. I give you glory. Father, pour your spirit. What a day, what an hour. Ooh. 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 In a few moments, oh la basaya, some will be weeping, some will be shaking, some will be touched by the power of God. I see it happening right now, oh Lord. Kabasanda, I hear the Lord declare. It's a new day, it's a new day, it's a new day, it's a new hour, it's a new day. Ando Shaya, Masa Santinimri Adasa. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Oh, oh, oh. oh.
with me finally father we certainly thank you for bringing us into the new year we certainly declare that this new year will be a different fire will proceed from the throne of grace aha there are 23 people that the anointing oh jesus is touching them in a unique way now the fire is coming from the throne of grace ushers look in the balcony look around you now 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 the angel the angel of the lord is standing beside 23 people <laughs> shall have them now whatever you desire in prayer and ask for in prayer tonight is granted to your life in the name of Jesus ah look at the victory it's yours now row one two three four look at the victory ah look at it look at it look at the victory look at the victory look
Father, indeed our souls always hunger for more. More of you. I pray, Father, that as your children get home, even upon their beds, sleeping, that your visitation will be upon their lives. That you visit them right in their homes. Show yourself strong. Uh -huh. And I pray especially that this year none shall be touched. Their bodies will not be tampered with. Ooh. The enemy will not tamper with strange ailments. The enemy will not tamper with all kinds of diseases. In the name of the Lord Jesus right at the beginning now whatever is an infirmity let it be flushed out in the name of Jesus go ah. Some people's prophetic mantle is coming. That, that is the mantle of what God told you is coming on your life. There are seven. There's one in that side, the left, one in the middle, one in the right. But they are. It's a mantle. As soon as it covers their life, they are seven. Watch out for it. Watch out for them. Listen to this. I had a strong impression to ask some people to do something at the beginning of the year. 23 people 23 people sow a seed at the beginning of the year it will work for you in the middle of the year it will work for you in March some it will work for you right in January Whew. Some you will hear results of it tomorrow over this weekend. Some ah, kula masasaya. Ah, that's it. That's it, sir. That's the glory on your life. There are some. There are some fathers here. Grandfathers here. Mothers here, grandmothers here. There are young men too here. But God has a gift and a grace for you. This year, like Jacob, you will rise with a new contract. In the name of Jesus. 23 people that believe it, take an envelope. I was here and I just heard 5,000. 5,000. 5,000. Just take the envelope, trust God, and do it for the Lord. If you are ready, you can come out 5,000 Ghana cities. 23 people, 23 people to mark, just to mark 23. Ju just wait for me for a moment. Yes, sir. I'm glad to see you, sir. Because it's very important that you are here. Every threatening, every sensations in the body, every threatening of the enemy shall all be overcome as Christ said. 
I've prayed for you that your faith fail not. As you remain here, do you know that there are some here of strength who are capable of doing more than this? This is the beginning of the year. I wish you could see the heartbeat of God to fight and win the battle this year. May the Lord God give, give me some envelope. Some will need one more. Some will need two more. Some will need three more. Four more. Four more becomes about 20. Some will need five more. Some will need even nine more to make it 10. And then you have 50. A little job to do. But the way I see 2023, any sacrifice in the beginning is worth it. Because want to clear the way for this year that obstacles will bow There's, there are major contracts where I'm standing this is massive 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 the Lord will lead you into it it's a massive thing it's a massive thing it's a massive thing Hey, it's a prophetic thing. It's a prophetic thing because you can sense the power. You can sense the power on your life. Thank you. If you want more, just show me by your finger how many you want. One more, two more. Hold, hold it. If you see anybody want more, look out, look out. If you want one more, two more. Three more, just open your eyes, look at it. G, G, just the sun. Bless you. The Lord bless you. I know that coming Sunday, as we lay these seats at the altar that God will do, will initiate something extraordinary and the testimony will come out very powerfully in the, oof, uh-huh. I, I see a PhD, Kalele Luro Seselo Rohosha. Son of God. Ooh, la, ma, 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 I believe in you. I believe. I believe in you. Build the estates. Build the houses. Build the estates. Build many units. I see some major contracts putting up buildings plenty hundred units all dead by a company yes Lord. Sunday. Okay, just do it on Sunday. Something powerful will happen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bless you. Bless you. May go back. Yes, Lord. That you are the Son of God. I want 
many people to dive into this grace of 2023. 500, I had two figures, 5,000 and 500. So if you want to take an envelope for 500, run quickly, 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 quickly. And please wait, wait for me, please. Yes, but you have to run, run very quickly, very, very quickly. Yes, I believe you are the Son of God. Just wait for me for a minute. If you want to just indicate it, please give me many envelopes. A lot of envelopes. Lord, Lord, if you need to lift your do your hand like that. If you want four, some you need one for your husband, for your three children. Just lift your hand and pick it quickly, quickly, quickly. Let there be many envelopes, many, many envelopes. If you want to indicate it, they will bring it to you. If you want three, four, one for each of your children, whatever way you want it, just pick it up. 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 Father, for even unborn children by faith, triplets, glory be to God. <laughs> hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Twins, triplets. Faith is working, it's working, it's working, it's working. The Lord bless you, the Lord favor you, the Lord empower you, the Lord strengthen you, the Lord make you powerful in 2023. In the name of the Lord Jesus, may the hand of the Almighty rest upon you mightily. May God Almighty favor you and strengthen you, empower you in Jesus' name. Amen. You may go back now. You may go back now. Give the give the Lord a clap as they go. If you are here today, you just want to give your life to Jesus. That's the most important thing. The most important thing is to be born again. Even if you are the only person to give your life to Christ, heaven will start rejoicing and jubilating. For heaven rejoices when one sinner repents. If you get born again today, you are honoring God. You are honoring God by believing in Christ. And by repenting of your sins and letting him into your life. If you want to be born again today, if you want heaven when you die, if you want to be born again today, just lift your right hand high above your head and I'll pray with you. If you want to be born again, God bless you. Just lift it high enough I can see it. High above your head so I can see it. God bless you. 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 I see your hand so kindly with your hand lifted. Just stand up on your feet. The Lord reminded me that you are here, so you need, I need to do this. I need to call you to come to him. Hallelujah. And like I said, even if you are one person, heaven will rejoice over you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If you're on the balcony, start making your way down. If you're on the floor here, just come out of your chair. Come quickly. One, two, three. Help, help them. Give them way. Let them come quickly. 
take your if you have a bag your phone don't leave anything on your chair just come quickly just come very very quickly come up very quickly let's pray hallelujah give your life to jesus give your life to jesus if you are upstairs make your way down quickly thank you yes please say this prayer after me and then Please lift your two hands in the presence of God. Say this prayer after me, okay? Bless you. Nobody knows what you will become. Nobody knows what these men and women here will become. So, Father, I thank you for their lives. Now say this prayer after me. Say it unto Jesus. Mean it from your heart. Say, Dear Lord Jesus, Today I come to you just as I am. I repent of all of my sins. Lord Jesus, come into my heart, come into my life. I believe you died for me. I believe you rose again on the third day. And with my mouth, I confess that Jesus Christ is Lord that Jesus Christ is my Lord. I receive Jesus as my Lord and my Savior. Amen. Amen. Please, please turn this way. You are going to see a gentleman, two gentlemen with their hands lifted. Please go to them. Just make your way to them. They will write down your name. They will pray with you. They will tell you something. Go this way. Go this way. Go this way. Please, brothers and sisters, ladies and gentlemen, can we please rise to our feet as we welcome back. Thank you. That is wonderful, isn't it? See a fresh start. I know... Some could have come forward to receive Christ. At least, I felt inside of me there were two that were left. He said, I will receive that Christ in my seat. So you know yourself now. It's very important to take instruction when we come to church like this. And I believe that there will be great blessings. We'll take our offering. Did you bring your offering today? You may be seated. Thank you very much. We're going to start next week. We will crown it. Amen. I say we are going to do what? With an anointing service. And I believe something will happen. A heavenly father, in your presence, we give. May what we give be a fresh start in our life. A seed that will turn our life around. May you bless it. May you use it to fulfill your purpose in Jesus' name. Amen. Your name is Abu Dhabi.
Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and when? Friday. Tell somebody, don't miss this last week. Ask the person whether, will you come? Ask the person. Say, will you come? So give the answer. Give the answer. So don't miss it. Invite somebody. Bring somebody. Hallelujah. Your life will never be the same. I say what? you cannot come and sit before the Lord like that. Then you are alive to be the same. Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. The blessing must soak you. The anointing must soak you. Amen. So pray and pray that by the time we end these services, you will come out. You will mount at wings like eagle. And you will fly above. You won't fly like ordinary bird. You will go beyond the horizon. And that shall be your portion. God bless you. Look at somebody's face and let's share the grace. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. The love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be reversed now and forevermore. Amen. 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 God bless you.